Hello and welcome to the Links and Connectors video tutorial uh, for the vSIM 5.3 program. Um, it is recommended that you first familiarize yourself with the toolbars on the left and top up here um, via either the vSIM manual for beginners or the actual vSIM manual located on the desktop as Word files. Uh, first things first, the Links and Connectors toolbar is, or tool is right here. Um, you need to left click it to activate. Um, and then right click anywhere in the map, um, click and drag and it creates a vector you can see here um, that will be your uh, link and it has an arrow for the direction of traffic. Um, release to have this pop up, you can number the link, you can select the number of lanes, we're going to select three. Um, you can select how wide the links are. Um, display options which is a bit more advanced uh, for this tutorial. Um, you can change behavior type. Once again this is for other things. Um, I'm just going to select freeway since it's three lanes um, and the road display type which there is only one of at the moment. So click OK. Um, depending whether you have center line mode on or not um, it could appear like this. If not, and if it is like this. Um, this is one length one link here, uh, you can see it is three lanes. You have one here, one here, and one here. Um, and if you really want to create a bend, you can just right click in the middle, creates a new node, which you can drag, and you can create an infinite number of nodes. So you can create a rough curve here, you see, um, if you would like. Just finish off that. Okay, so then let's say you would like to continue your roadway um, if you'd like to make a fork in the road let's say so you create a new link here um, and we'll say this one is only one lane um, as you can see it's a bit skinnier um, create another link here and we'll call this two lanes um, since two and one makes this three um, can zoom in over here and left click on this link and then right click within this box here click and drag until this other box appears on this new link um, release and now comes up the connector menu um, you can select which lanes are connecting here um, be only one lane it can be multiple lanes um, but you cannot you cannot create a connector that connects a two lane road to a three lane road connecting all of the lanes. You can only connect two lanes to two lanes, one lane to one lane, uh, and etc. Uh, if you want to select multiple you can either shift click to highlight um, several in a list or control click to add more or less. As you can see here it does not allow me to connect. So um, if I want to collect, connect lanes one and two and then lanes one and two um, from both links um, then I just click OK and as you can see it creates a connector here. If I would like to connect the other lane here, I simply do the same thing. Draw and it asks, we're going to go with lane 3 since we know this is lane 1, this is lane 2, this must be lane 3, and lane 1 because this only has one lane. And now you can see we have a connector. Um, it's important that you optimize these. You can do that by clicking and dragging back so that way there's no extra space in between um, these here. <coughs> now, if you would like to create, say, a curved uh, connector, you can do the same thing. You can click and move, click and move, click and move. Um, but that's not a very nice looking and uh, quite frankly not realistic. So what you can do is click recalculate spine uh, spline and select a number of points which is the number of nodes that is here. Um, select as many as you want. I'll select 15 for this purpose. As you can see here it creates a nice smooth curve. Um, this may not be the best example so I will create a sharper corner here for you. Oops, sorry. And if I do this, calculate spine, select 15 points again, 
you can see here that this would be very difficult to make um, just by clicking on your own. Um, but it creates a nice smooth road network that, I mean, this isn't very realistic, but you see how you could create other ones like that. Um, and that concludes this tutorial.